Monster. Hello and good morning from San Jose, California. Right now, we are headed to San Jose International Airport where we will be catching Hawaiian Airlines Flight 45. This is my first time flying with Hawaiian Airlines, so I'm excited to try it out. From San Jose, we will be flying to Kahului International Airport, which is located on the Hawaiian island of Maui. Overall, this flight is expected to take five and a half hours and will cover a distance of approximately 2,350 miles. SJC consists of two terminals, Terminal A and Terminal B. The flight today will be leaving from Terminal A. As for check-in with Hawaiian Airlines, I found the process to be a bit weird. This is because my seat was not given at check-in and I had to go to a gate agent at the gate in order to get my seat for the flight. But at least there were no delays to report on this flight. Don't be fooled by the lack of crowds you saw at the check-ins and at the security checkpoint. The flight was completely full that day. Lately, San Jose International Airport has been boasting on social media and in advertising about how you can go from the curb to gate in minutes. So I want to put that to the test. While Terminal A is the oldest currently operating terminal at SJC, it is not the first ever passenger terminal ever built there. That title instead belonged to Terminal C, which was demolished in 2010. While Terminal A is in relatively good condition, it is starting to show its age in some places. Compared to Terminal B, I found the food options at Terminal A to be rather limited, but at least Dunkin' Donuts is coming soon. While I did not measure the exact time it took for me to get from the curb to the gate at SJC, I would say it took me no more than 20 minutes. So in my honest opinion, SJC does live up to its marketing tagline. The aircraft for today's flight is an Airbus A321neo. The biggest difference between an Airbus A321neo and the old version is in the engine. Now it's time to board the flight. As for the boarding process, passengers were divided by zone, and each zone was called up one by one. I'd like to give a fun fact related to this flight. Back in 2014, a Hawaiian Airlines flight from San Jose to Kahului made international news when a teenage boy stowed away in the wheel well and survived. A related fun fact. I briefly went to high school with the boy who stowed away on the flight. While I didn't know him before he stowed away, we did have a couple of friends in common, one of whom was interviewed by a major news outlet best known by a three-letter acronym. My seat for today's flight is 14B, which is an extra comfort seat. In addition to the 5 inches of extra legroom, benefits of extra comfort over regular economy seats include earlier boarding, power outlets, and priority airport screening at select airports. Unfortunately, since I didn't get the window seat, I had to film the taxiing, takeoff, and landing using this awkward angle.
Since the vast majority of the flight will be flying over the Pacific Ocean, I decided not to film the exterior shots while cruising. Not long after we reached cruising altitude, food and drinks services began. Unfortunately, the food was not free and neither was the bottled water you see here. However, the crew did eventually came by to give us a free drink and a free snack. And the crew did come around to give passengers water several times throughout the flight. As for in-flight entertainment, there was no seatback screen on the Airbus A321neo. But you can stream their in-flight entertainment using the app or the internet browser on your personal devices. In case you're wondering, yes, you can also access the map using your personal devices as well. Speaking of personal devices, there is a seat back mount that can work for a smartphone, though I'm not sure if it will work for a tablet. In case you're wondering about turbulence, yes, we did hit turbulence on this flight. While everything seems to be working just fine in the restrooms, it was quite dirty in there. In each seat, you'll find a safety pamphlet and an in-flight magazine. By Hawaii state law, all passengers arriving in Hawaii are required to complete the Plants and Animal Declaration form. This is to protect the unique environment of Hawaii from invasive plants and animals from outside. Now that we're finally approaching Maui, I'd like to give some final thoughts on the flight. A major plus I had of Hawaiian Airlines is the crew on board. I found the crew to be friendly and attentive. One problem I had with Hawaiian Airlines was the fact that I wasn't given my seat at check-in and I had to go to the gate agent in order to get my seat. This was something that happened to me on other Hawaiian Airlines flight I took on this trip. As for extra comfort, I would say yes, it does live up to its name. Kahului Airport is the main airport of the Hawaiian island of Maui. It is also the second busiest airport in Hawaii, bested only by the Honolulu International Airport. However, it only serves flights to other places in Hawaii, the mainland USA, and Canada. Therefore, there are no immigration facilities at the airport. While we have arrived at Kahului, it is not our final destination, and neither is any place on the Hawaiian island of Maui. But rather, it is Auckland, New Zealand. However, the flight to Auckland is another topic for another video. But since we had a nearly 24 hour layover at Kahului Airport, we decided to take that time to get out of the airport and explore the island of Maui. Also, the Kahului Airport is home to an interesting tram system that links the arrivals and departures area to the rental car facility. I just thought it was an interesting thing to point out. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, don't hesitate to hit the like button. And if you want to see more content like this, you can hit the subscribe button. Once again, I'm LeConte, signing out.